On to this story now. Well, the country's metrics are bracing for a crucial exam. They'll write maths paper one this morning. Of course, maths is a vital uh, subject for doctors, accountants and engineers. But it seems our results just don't add up. Well, let's get some perspective now. Reporter Michael Morelia uh, joining us from the touch screen this morning. So, Mike, good morning. We keep hearing about uh, the uh, fourth industrial uh, revolution. Sounds fantastic, but uh, maths is at the center of this subject, isn't it? Absolutely, Koli, and uh, it is uh, 2019, 20 years, in fact, since uh, the matrix came out. So in honor of that, we are uh, changing it to the matrix. Uh, I hope the class of 29 does, uh, 2019 doesn't uh, mind. We're going to be using a few uh, matrix uh, metaphors throughout the morning as we explore the importance of maths and cracking the code uh, it really is a crucial subject, as you said, for subjects and for professions like, for example, medicine and engineering. So let's focus on maths. Just 270,000 matrix actually wrote mathematics in 2018. So that's pure mathematics. We aren't talking about maths literacy. This is the subject that you would need to do well in if you want to go into those professions, as I said, becoming a doctor, becoming a scientist, becoming a chartered accountant. Remember, more than half a million matrix actually wrote exams last year. So what experts are saying is that very few people, very few youngsters are actually choosing maths as a subject. Let's quickly focus on some of uh, the, the numbers when it comes to actually how well they did. Just 37% of those matrix managed to pass with 40% or better. That really is an abysmal pass rate. And how many managed to dodge the bullet and actually get distinctions? Just 3% Koli, of those matrix managed to get 80% or above. So it's a subject that South Africa really is struggling to get a right. And I want to focus very quickly on that number, 5,828 distinctions. Remember, Dolly, that's out of more than 270,000 matrix who actually wrote the subject last year. It's very, very concerning. Yeah, and importantly, Mike, the matric pass rate climbed last year, but those numbers do not tell the full story, do they? Absolutely. So uh, education statisticians focus on something called the throughput rate. Golly. So they take a look at the number of children who actually entered grade two and see how many of them actually passed matric. And we're going to take a quick look at those numbers. Uh, for the class of 2017, so when they were in grade two in uh, 2007, just over a million pupils. If we fast forward to grade 10, roughly the same. But we see a massive, massive decline between grade 10 and grade 12. In fact, 534,000 in grade 2 compared to a in grade 12 compared to a million in grade 2. How many of those passed? 401,000. If you take all of these factors into account, Tolly, you get a throughput rate of roughly 55 percent. And remember, the education officials like to tell us that the pass rate is 75 percent. That was the figure uh, for 2017. But as you can see, if you take a look at the throughput rate, Tolly, a very, very different story. And finally, uh, I think you're going to enjoy this. We're going to post this on our Twitter account. We've got three questions from a past paper in 2018. This is the matric past uh, paper from 2018, Koli. We're going to ask if our viewers out there can solve these three questions. As you can see, there are roughly uh, two marks, four marks, and three marks. Send us your videos or tweet us your answers, and uh, the hashtag there is ENCA Math. Koli, I'm going to send out the challenge to you. I want you to solve these questions within the hour. Aibo, Mike. You've got an hour. You don't, you don't know. Three Zoom. questions. There's this saying. There's this saying that when it comes to mathematics. So we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. <laughs>